welcome to the Maker Studio. My name is Karin and today we have several tutorials for you on how to use Sharpie markers to dye your kinky yarn. It can give some really great results, including like a gradient as you can see here, multicolors, lots of awesome fun things. When we did our video, we realized that it got really long. It got to be like 20 minutes long. So we edited it down and it was still like 13, 14 minutes long. So we decided to go ahead and create two videos. One video is two minutes long. It just gives you the basics on how to do this method. So if you're the kind of person who likes to experiment on your own, we recommend that you watch tutorial number one. If you want to have more details and you want to experience a little banter between Kyle and myself as we experiment with the yarn in, in front of the camera, then please do watch tutorial number two. Right now, you are watching tutorial number one, and if that's what you want, stay tuned. Kinky yarn, Sharpie markers, rubbing alcohol, vinegar salt in a bowl. Together. So what we're gonna do is take a color, and basically you're just gonna draw on the yarn. Just take your Sharpie mm -hmm. and start coloring the yarn. And it's just a permanent marker. It's just, Any this is marker. just a permanent Sharpie marker. Mm -hmm. The second step is to disperse the colors using rubbing alcohol. You can either use it directly from a spray bottle or you can pour it onto your piece or as a third option you could fill a bowl with rubbing alcohol and simply dip your piece in there. Your colors will start to spread immediately once that rubbing alcohol actually hits the yarn. As you can see the edges start to fill in right away as well even if they haven't been colored in the first place. Using your hands, squeeze out as much excess rubbing alcohol as you can. We recommend you wear gloves. To set the color for a complete coil, add one cup of vinegar to three cups of water and a tablespoon of salt. Let sit for 15 minutes. Then squeeze until the water runs clear. Rinse and hang to dry. Once it's totally dry, but not before, you can begin to unravel it and discover what beautiful colors you've actually created. 